Hey everyone, my name is Ru and we're here. This is going to be week number eight, I believe, of the NCP and we're up against Ultra Player and his New York Metagross. Now, uh, this is going to be a weird matchup. Um, I really didn't have a ton of time to prepare for this match. I don't want to make any excuses, obviously, but I put this team together very, very quickly. I think it has a lot of holes, even just in building. I, it has a lot of holes that I could identify even just in a few minutes of team building, but ultimately, um, this was a tough team to build for regardless of what I did. So I have to do a certain number of things that are going to kind of mitigate this for me and put me in a position to win. But overall, this is going to not be the strongest matchup for me. And honestly, I part of me just wanted to come into this matchup being like, hey, I built this team in like 30 minutes. My only goal here is to prevent Dracovish from getting any KOs in this match because I know he is very adamant about making Dracovish the KO leader for this season and already been having not the best season. So part of me just wanted to come in and prevent Dracovish from getting any KOs. But I think... I kind of wanted to take it a little bit seriously as I mean, I mean as, as seriously that I, as I can in kind of 30 minutes like I said but yeah he has a lot of threads there's a lot going on in this matchup and I'm just going to do whatever the heck I can I'm not the most confident going into this match that's probably one of the least confident that I've gone into a matchup in a while but uh we're just going to do whatever the heck we can do here all right so we are getting into the matchup and we will see the Dracovish, Rhyperior, Ferrothorn, Shuckle, um, Papagrigus, and Rotom Heat Okay, so I'm going to screenshot the team and let's see here. Let's see, let's see. Um, did not bring the Hatterene, uh, didn't bring the Vullaby, Chinchino, okay. Uh, and I believe the Toxicroak. Oh, Toxicroak is really interesting. Toxicroak is really interesting. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Part of me just wants to lead off with... Huh. I don't know what I want to lead off with. I think... I kind of want to lead off with the... Yeah, I'm just going to lead off with this thing, with the Dragapult. It's not the strongest lead, uh, because of a lot of reasons, but I am truly amazed to not see the Toxicroak. I thought the Toxicroak would be a huge uh, anti-Milotic measure, and um, Milotic would have been my best answer to the Dracovish, but instead we're going full double, baby. The double has Zen Head, but just for the Toxicroak, because uh, it felt like it would have been a pretty obvious uh, play here, but... We will see the Kofagrigus. I would not be surprised at a turn one trick room. But I, I'm just going to lock in the move. I'm not even going to think about it too, too much. I don't think, uh, especially when I don't think I have the strongest team, I think just getting damage off early is would be important. And onto a max HP Kofagrigus. Yeah, we're doing hecka damage. Hecka damage. Now, I wonder if we could bluff, if he does switch out, I wonder if we could bluff um, Scar for Specs. If he goes into the Ferrothorn, well, no, if he goes into the Ferrothorn, then for sure the play would be to want to, for sure the play would be to want to, there's a Shadow Ball, and there is the Cassie Berry. But he could go for Trick Room Turn 1. I'm, I'm, I don't, I'm not sure if I said that, but uh, that was my first thought. Trick Room Turn 1. Toxic Spikes Turn 1. Okay. That's fine. I do have the Eldegoss. And I believe I remember to pack spin on the Eldegoss. Um, if if for no other reason, then... Um, it felt super important to not get Hatchard sacked by the Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn can eat my entire ass, and the fact that my only removal is the Eldegoss means that he could take advantage of me in quite a few different ways. So, uh, also fun fact, I did not have any ways... My Eldegoss didn't have any ways of touching the... Hatterene, so I'm really glad it's not here. Um, it can at least leech seed most mons on the team. Um, except the Ferrothorn. Uh, but the Ferrothorn, I have my own thing going on there. Uh, for the Ferrothorn, I do have the Weather Ball. The Weather Ball. Uh, sunny, the Sunny Day Weather Ball combination is what I was trying to say. Will allow me to get a strong Shadow Ball off here. And I wonder, again, can I 
Yeah, that is very specially defensive. That is fine. I think what I want to do... Oh, actually, could Hydro Pump do this? I believe... I'm, no, I'm Shadow Tag. I was going to say, maybe I'm Expert Belt. But no, I am Shadow Tag. Let me see. Shuckle. Let's just assume... Max HP. Uh, Shadow Ball did about... Yeah, 25%. That's... Uh, Hydro Pump is really not doing any damage at all, but I think it's as... I, I think he's going to want to go for webs, and I think it's as good a play as I can make in this situation anyway. So I might just want to go for it regardless. Um, I'd be curious just to know how much damage this, this does. Yeah, okay. It does about the damage that I would expect. Um, I think he wants to get up webs here. Question mark. I don't, oh my god, I don't even know if I made myself clear body. I think I am clear body. Okay. Let's knock off my spell tag, which is fine. Um... Okay. What do I do? I could U-turn, and I kind of really want to U-turn here. He could Toxic me. I don't think HP matters too, too much on this thing. Yeah, I'm just going to go for it. Uh, he has no real switches in, except maybe the Dragon Hole. But then if the Dragon Hole comes in... Oh, if anything, I, th I think he would... I think he wanted to mess around with me in case I had any type of Scarf or anything like that. Um, not Dragon Ball. Um, his best switch in is the Dracovish. If the Dracovish comes in, then I cry. Uh, but yeah, I, I'll, I'll figure something out if that happens. Regardless, um, I would ideally really like to take out this Shuckle. Yeah, okay. Just gets up rocks. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. So he, yeah, again, he doesn't really... <laughs> Honestly, I probably should. I probably clicked too quickly. I probably should have gone for the U-turn because uh, Dracovish is a pretty solid play here overall, and I could have played off of that and gone for the U-turn. But I think ultimately he has to respect. He has to respect the the Draco Meteor because um my Dragapult has enough speed to outspeed Scarfed. Scarfed uh, Dracovish. So I think he has to respect that ultimately. And even if he wants to switch in the Ferrothorn, he has to respect Flamethrower as well. Um, he could, uh, and the fact that I haven't revealed U turn yet makes, uh, forces him to respect it, even though he will soon find out that I do not have a really strong way of hitting the, um, the Dracovish other than U turning the heck out and potentially crying. But you know what? That's just where we're at in life. We do get the Hydro Pump off. Um, I'm pretty confident that I will find an opportunity to um, spin with Eldegoss. Now, I am especially defensive, and it looks like almost all of his offense is uh, is physical. So that's fun. But I think I can attempt to abuse his... His... Ferrothorn for the spin, I think. He could try to spin block with Confagrigus. I can potentially leech seed, and I can potentially try to make something happen here. But at the end of the day, I'm not the most worried about those hazards. As long as I can just deal some gosh dang damage. Now. How defensive would a Ferrothorn have to be to take a flamethrower? Oh, it, it eats it up if it's really specially defensive. But the fact that he hasn't gone into it yet, it makes me think that... Yeah, okay, goes into this. That's fine. That, I think, is fine. I can U-turn. Yeah, I'm gonna just U-turn. I'm gonna just U-turn. And now he's gonna know that I don't have any answers to Dracovish, but I really never did, so... I can... Actually, can I go into Eldegoss? I don't think I can take two with Eldegoss. Because I, I switched the last second from physically defensive to specially defensive, and uh, I'm really regretting that quite a bit. That's assuming it's Scarfed. This thing could very well be Banded. I know he loves Banded. But he's probably thinking about whatever the heck I want to do here. Um, yeah, I don't... Eldegoss doesn't take these well. If I was physically defensive, because I know he has to at least respect that. Does withdraw. Does withdraw. Interesting. 
Interesting, interesting. So how aggressively will he try and hazard stack me? Is it Rocket Helmet? It is not Rocket Helmet. Okay, that's fine. So he clearly does not think that I have the... Well, I guess now he would know that I have the Flamethrower because if I don't have a move to hit the... He, he probably was beating the, the Draco Meteor and if and the fact that I didn't go for the Draco Meteor um, would, would pretty strongly... <laughs> oh my god, did I really... Okay. I meant to put South Rocks on this thing, and I didn't? I don't know, man. I definitely just didn't. Okay, that's fine. I want to go into this thing and just, um... And just get a sunny day up, and he's gonna know exactly what I'm gonna wanna, gonna wanna do. But I'm gonna not care. That's, that's my game plan here. He could honestly just try to hit try to hit me. He really has no reason not to just want to hit me, but I can't believe I don't have rocks on my coverage. I definitely meant to put I don't know. It's it's fine, it's fine. We'll we'll deal with it. We will deal with it. I'll, I'll click Sunny Day. It's fine. We'll see. We'll, we'll see if this thing wants to stay in. Does withdraw. Probably gonna go into the Confrigus, I would have to imagine, yeah. Yeah, no, that's fine. Um what else? What else? What else? What else can I do in this situation? I was, I was thinking I was going to check up on something, but I don't even remember what that is anymore. Regardless, sun's up. And I can bleach seed. Just to try to make some things happen here. Even though it's never going to look great for me. And uh, this Eldegoss set is pretty bad. Just overall. Especially against the team that he has. But yeah, it's just pretty bad. I have, I have no other thing to say then. It's pretty bad. And I can't even get rocks up. I cannot even get rocks up right now. He has to probably respect my Eldegoss doing something, right? Um, even though I've already shown off two moves and he can probably... Exp uh, he probably already knows that I have Weather Ball in this set. Just by the way that I've played this Eldegoss. Might assume that I have Rapid Spin, but who knows? Who knows? Regardless, I can try to get off a Seed and... We can make some things happen. There's a knockoff. It's fine. We're going to weaken the Kafkirkus up a little bit. But. But. Um. Now what do I do? I guess I could just hit this thing for, with Weather Ball, right? Kafka, if, the, if this thing just goes down, then that would be incredible. Um, and if it is sunny, actually, Weather Ball boosted, or Sun boosted Weather Ball plus Leech Seed might actually do it, especially when he's not really in a position to hit me that hard. There's the Weather Ball. And we do very little. That's fine. Just go for the Memento. That's fine. That's fine. I think that's fine. Probably allows in Dracovish. Actually, does it? I you probably don't want to just click the Dracovish button until... Until... Oh, he, he... He also probably thought that I was going to switch out there for some reason. Um, Try to catch him off guard with something, but there was really nothing that I wanted to switch into a knockoff there. And um, honestly, I think he could have done put a lot more pressure on me by, by keeping the Kofgrigus on board. Because I really had no great answers to it. Uh, I just kind of had to let items get knocked off, let just take like chip damage here and there. But the fact that he let it go down also should theoretically allow me to rapid spin at some point in the match. And he also doesn't know that I don't have Giga Drain, I guess. He shouldn't theoretically know, even though I ever revealed three moves. Um, but whatever comes in, I'm going to click Leech Seed regardless, right? He could think of this as an opportunity to want to go into Rhyperior, thinking that I could trigger his weakness policy. Although I'm pretty sure every time I would just... I don't know what this is. Goes into Rotom. Okay, okay. I really think he, he clicks Volt Switch here. I really strongly think he clicks Volt Switch here. I don't know if this is a bad play, but it's a play that I'm going to make, I think. Right? It's a play that I make, right? I'm going to do it. I really think he clicks Volt Switch. I'd be, am I'd be amazed if he didn't. 
Josh, uh, Ultra Play is too good of a player not to want to click bolts. Goes for the Hex, okay. Can we take it? We're really specially defensive. We do take it. We got the Rapid Spin off. That's all I wanted in life. And we can get a Leech Sheet off. That is pure profit. That is pure profit. Actually, does my Rhydon have Stealth Rock? <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm a complete mess right now. Does my Rhydon have it? I didn't put it in there either? I didn't finish my Rhydon. My Rhydon has three moves too? Wait, why do I have three moves here? Oh, I'm so confused. I don't know. I'm, okay. Rhydon has three moves on my... On my... um Team Builder here. It's fine. I'm just going to click Lead Seed. We, we should outspeed... Uh, after that rapid spin boost. And we can just get taken out here. The correct play would be to Volswit. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Uh, let's get the Hex off. And what does that allow me to do? What does that allow me to do? Uh, I can... I mean, honestly, I can... Try and make some... I can try to go for Hydro Pump, but it would have to be a super offensive Rotom, which I don't think is the play in this overall matchup here. I don't think it's ever the play in this matchup, even if I was extra well, which I was just talking about how I'm not. What can I do that would deal damage? I can go into Rhydon. No, Rhydon's never a good play. Sylveon could at least just do Psy Shock damage, which I think at this point is my best play, which is unfortunate, but at the very least, all I need is a little bit of damage in order to um, get this thing in range of a Dragapult Hydro Pump, which I think is just where I want to be just in general. Uh, is there any way, is there any other move that would be more beneficial here? Actually, Hyper Voice does more than Psy Shock. Yeah, Hyper Voice is always the play. It does it does more than Trash Talk, even though it's resisted. Well, actually, the Ferrothorn's an issue. Do I just double here? I'll probably just double here. You can Volt Switch, too. I could click Mystical Fire. Actually, maybe I'd do that. Yeah, why not? Let's go for it. Let, let's see if we can catch a Ferrothorn coming in. Okay, that's fine. I think that's fine. He maybe knows that I'm Scarfed, even though I believe I don't have to be, I think. Okay, that's pretty not great. Now here's where it would have been ideal if I wasn't Clear Body, if I was Infiltrator. But I'm not, so it's fine. Regardless, uh, yeah, no, I, if I'd just gone for Hyper Voice, and that would have done... Th this thing would be well under half at this point. But you know what, I think it's going to be fine, because I think I can go into this thing. So, we've seen Sub... I have to assume Volt Switch, right? So, Sub Hex... It probably has Will-O-Wisp. What am I... I'm, I'm kidding myself thinking that, does, that it doesn't have Will-O-Wisp. Um, Pain Split. Okay. Okay. That's... I mean, it's not great. It's, it's not the worst. So, it's only attacking move might just be... Well, no, it has Hex, right? Um... I don't know. I don't know, I'm, I'm trying to think this through myself, but I think just getting up rocks here is fine. I think I think that'd be just fine. And then from there, does withdraw. So going into the Dracovish. Which again, I I think that's fine, ultimately. Um, would I be willing to let this thing go down? Probably. I think I do, right? I don't even think there's a really super profitable switch here. I don't even think there's a really super great switch here. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hit it. Um yeah, we just got rendered, which is fine. Um I still don't know if this thing is scarfed or not. But I think the play always has to be to go into uh, Dragapult and threaten it. Um, I can U-turn. 
And I think e turn would be the play here. Um, obviously, I can outspeed. But goes for protect, so not at all. Not at all scarfed or banded, which is a very good sign. Because I believe that should actually just allow in my my Sylveon, right? Regardless, I just click U-turn. He has to respect the, the the Draco, but I think the fact that I don't go for Draco on this turn pretty much confirms that I don't have it, especially since he's three, seen three moves already. But I think it'll be fine, especially if Dracovish doesn't go first. If Dracovish doesn't go first, then I think... Then I think we just take... Yeah, we just take an Adamant Ficious Rend with... With this thing and start doing damage, right? We can also go into the double. We can also go into the double. But this puts on so much pressure. This puts on so much pressure. Yeah, I think I just do this. We get the chip off on the Dracovish. And from there, from there we can start going into, into double. Okay. I don't know how that KO'd. Adamant Strong Jaw. Oh, it's probably like Mystic Water, some nonsense. Okay, I, I get it now. I get it now. It's fine. That was a bad sack for me overall because that was a very valuable mon for me, just in general. But you know what? This thing could this thing could potentially win if it wasn't for Fluffy being such a hindrance here. But we can't hit the Cotton Guard. Um. Goes for a whirlpool. I mean, I think that's fine, right? I think that's ultimately okay. If he has some crazy, like, toxic set, then I can. We've seen toxic. No, we've seen protect, vicious rend, whirlpool. So it could be a toxic set. Regardless, I think I just try to hit the sub right now. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the, what a toxic set would be for, but it makes sense to me question mark i don't know but whenever i see like whirlpool protect that's the first thing my head goes to now uh i'm gonna i'm just gonna give this mystic water i'm just gonna give this thing mystic water just for the sake of trying to figure some things out and if i'm at plus three defense Nope, that is... Oh, that's Super Fang. Okay. Uh, that's overall pretty bad. But if I'm at plus three defense... Then... Body Press is still not... A KO. Um... Hmm. Alright, I'm just gonna click Body Press here. We're going to get da some damage off on this thing. Okay. That was more damage than I would expect. That's a crit. Okay. Okay. Let's go for the Super Fang. Can't even miss a Super Fang for me. But you know what? It's fine. It's fine. I think ultimately the fact that we are able to manage the Dracovish without too big of a hassle here is big. I kind of want a Con Guard. But Super Fang just always does it to me. Actually, how does Super Fang work? No, I think... I don't know. It does... If I sub up... Oh, goes for the Protect. That's huge. That's huge. Does Body Press not have a lot of PP? Was that what that was about? Because Whirlpool already ended, so I don't think that does... That gets him any benefit. 
Body first is 16, so I'm not sure. So if I Cotton Guard again, I think he has no way of breaking my sub, right? Because I think the way the Super Fang works, I don't know how I don't know how Super Fang works as it relates to 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 substitutes. But I guess we'll find out. If I get my sub broken, then I get my sub broken, and that sucks. But um, I don't know what else to do because getting to plus six defense is potentially really huge here. Discover the fishes right now. I don't think that ever breaks. Even at plus three, I don't think that broke, but it's, that was a crit. Oof. Ooh, that got me heated. That got me heated. All right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. All right. But I think I can sub up right now, right? I think the bigger deal is that I end up behind a sub. But man, that sucks. All right. So what if Rhyperior comes in? Anima plus six. What if Rhyperior comes in? Anima plus six. Um, yeah, Body Press isn't quite a KO. Please don't crit me. Um, yeah, okay. That's, that's cool. That's awesome. And I think ultimately I, I end up, you know, not too, too far away from, from the amount of HP that I was at before. So I can just Body Press and try to make some things happen. Um... The biggest deals, yeah, the biggest deal is that I'm also out of, out of range of, what's the other thing called, um, iron barbs, right? So, I'm out of range of iron barbs. I should be. I hope I am. What is iron bar? Oh my god, I'm gonna have to actually do this. Iron barbs. Oh, but even if I'm not, I think I have to hit this. I might have to hit the Ferrothorn twice. I might have to, Well, no, okay, so the Ferrothorn is a little bit weakened. Yeah, okay, Body Press should always do it, even if it's max defense. But how much damage is... It does one-eighth. It does one-eighth damage. Which... Okay, I should still be out of range of that. I think... I guess I just click body press. I see what happens. I should be out of range. Right, because I think two rounds of... Two rounds of leftovers is the same as... As one, one iron barbs. And we've seen before, this thing isn't Rocket Helmet. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, perfect, perfect. Okay, so this is still not good, but it's not the worst. Uh, Rhyperior could come in... Well, no, I, I don't think Rhyperior ever really breaks the sub well. I don't think Rhyperior ever breaks the sub too, too well. And... Um, yeah, I think the Rotom is going to be more defensive. I think, I think we outspeed the Rotom, potentially. I think we saw that the Rotom was a little bit slower-ish, I think. I'm not too, too sure about that. But basically, we have to do a lot of damage to this Rotom. That is the basic situation. Let me just see, if this is a max defense Rotom Heat... Also, we are both running out of time, but it's fine. Okay, and this thing would have to be bold to take this body press, and it is very potentially slower, yeah. So it is slower. We get we get that off. Okay, that's huge. That is huge. And now, Rhyperior is going to be an issue, but I think Rhyperior should not be able to break myself. So we might just be two attacks away from winning the match. We might just be two attacks away from potentially winning the match. 
This is exactly why I drafted double. I'm so proud of double right now. I mean, I'm very curious to know what happens in this situation, but regardless, all I think I need is chip damage, and then I attempt a hydro pump with with um with a uh, dragapult. This thing could be. Well, no, if this thing ever takes a turn to rock polish, then I was yeah, I should always two KO. So I don't even think weakness policy really matters a whole heck of a lot. Yeah, it goes for the EQ. I really would like to stay behind a sub, but it looks like double actually did this thing. Yes, we stay behind a sub. That's amazing. Ugh, that's amazing. Okay. Okay. I, I don't know what that what that um Dracovish set was exactly for, but we somehow managed. We somehow managed to beat this thing. And yeah, we had a lot to work through, but thankfully we made it. I don't know. Like I said, I was not confident at all. I just came up with it with a few sets and I just did whatever the heck I could do. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back really, really soon with uh, more weeks of the NCP Nimbus with one or two more weeks of the AP Academy, more weeks of the TBL. Yeah, that was a crazy match. I had so much fun with it. But once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll be once again out.